What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a brand new extension from Fredo6 that allows you to adjust your camera views inside of SketchUp, as well as exporting images based on your camera. And before I get started, I wanna thank my newest supporter on Patreon. So big thank you to Roberto Cortez. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to support the show, maybe vote on the extension that I cover every week, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. So this week, my patrons voted, and they selected Fredo Portrait as the extension of the week. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this week's extension of the week is called Fredo Portrait. It's a brand new extension from Fredo 6 that's designed to help you create and adjust different camera views as well as managing image exports from inside of SketchUp. So the author is Fredo 6. You can download this extension from the Sketchication extension store or plugin store. Um, and one of the great things about Fredo's stuff is he links not only to a forum thread where he talks about this extension, but also but also if you scroll down there's also a user manual so you can find that in the forum thread which i will also link to in the notes down below and that user manual is going to give detailed instructions for the different things you can do with this extension so uh, one thing to note about this is you do need to make sure you load libfredo which is fredo's library of different scripts and things like that that uh, he uses in order to make his extensions work um, so let's take a look at this extension so to start off, model credit, 3D warehouse model credit goes to the apartment, dwelling house, commerce street by TAS underscore 1985. So if you want to download this and follow along, you can do that from the 3D warehouse. Um, but what this extension does is it has two different options in here. Um, there's a custom cameras option, which allows you to save and manage custom cameras. And then there's also a portrait studio, which allows you to do a lot more custom editing and exports and other things like that. So let's take a look at both of these. So the first one is the custom cameras menu. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to save and edit, save and adjust different cameras inside of Fredo Portrait. So like for example, let's say I wanted a view over here. We would click on this and we would just click on the button for save current view camera as. And when you do this, this is gonna allow you to name your custom camera. So I would just call this custom camera one. And there's a drop down option in here for save your custom camera in your model or in SketchUp. And so this is interesting. If you save this in your model, then this camera will get saved in every single iteration of this model. So from now on, if you save this, this camera information gets saved along with this. If you click on the button for SketchUp, this is actually gonna save your camera information um, and it's gonna show up anytime you open up any kind of model inside of SketchUp when you use Fredo Portrait. So choose based on what you want to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And when I click on OK, what this is going to do is this is going to save my custom camera in here. So I have a scene two, I have a scene one, which are both kind of the same. And then I have my custom camera one. And you can adjust and edit these using these options. So there's an option to delete this. There's an option to rename these. There's an option to update them. So like for example, for scene one, um, if I wanted to update this, what I would do is I would just uh, close out of this and I would just update my camera view like this by flying around. And then I would open this back up. I would click on scene one and I would click the button for update custom camera. And what this would do is this would resave this camera view inside of scene one with my new camera orientation. So this is basically for um, saving your different custom cameras. And then you can load each one of these based on this load custom camera button. So if I wanted to go back to my first custom camera, I could click on load custom camera. So really this first tool is just for managing your different camera views. The second tool is where a lot of the more, uh, the more interesting stuff happens inside of this extension. So what this extension does is this allows you to basically adjust and then export your different camera views using all of these different tools. 
And so what you can do is you can select different things to edit down here. Like for example, if I check this box for current view and viewport, what this is gonna do is this is going to update this thumbnail based on that view. And then there's a few options off to the left hand side that you're gonna to wanna to know about. The first is zoom extents. And so what zoom extents does is this basically allows you to set this thumbnail preview, um, this view itself, so that it zooms the extents of your model. So if you like zoom way out in this camera view, you can actually check this box and this thumbnail is actually going to zoom this view to the extents of the model rather than being zoomed way out like we are over here in our actual uh, workspace. So that's something you can adjust over there um, in order to kind of adjust if you export this image, if this is going to be showing the extents of your model or something like that. So another cool function of this extension is for your view, um, it allows you to set if we, if we can isolate selection only or showing all objects. And what that means is right now, if I was to go in here and I was to export this image, um, you could click on this button right here and this allows you to export your view as an image file. So you can adjust the different kinds of, um, the kind of image that this export, you can select a folder and then you can click on the button for generate image. And what that does is that actually takes your view and that makes an image based on um, your current view properties. Well, if you were to close out of this and you had this option selected, this allows you to select just one object. So in this case, this building right here, and I could actually export an isolated image of just this building. So I could do that by selecting this and then going to my export image again and generating a new image. You can see how this image allows me to isolate just this right here, so this piece of building right here. So what that allows you to do is that allows you to really kind of dive deep into your building. You can see how as I click across these different objects, you can isolate those inside of this extension. And then if you don't want to do that, you can just turn this option off right here. So. You can see how I can click on this building and this will uh, this will basically zoom the extents of this building and I could export this and I could either isolate that or not. So it's really great for exporting custom images like that. Um, there's also an option in here to toggle parallel projection or perspective mode. So you can save that inside of this camera view as well. And then the last option is a really cool option which allows you to adjust if you export this with a transparent background. So like for example, if I had this building, and I had this deselected, I could export an image. Uh, it'd probably have to be a PNG, I think, but you could just click on the button for generate image. What this would do is this would tr export this image with a transparent background for use in a program like Photoshop or something like that. So these are things you can use to kind of adjust what this view does and how it looks. And then uh, once you kind of adjust this the way that you want it to be, there's a button down here for saving it as a custom camera. So like for example, if I had a view where I wanted to zoom the extents of this building and I didn't want to isolate it, I could just click on the save button and you can see how that basically pops up your custom camera menu and allows you to save that camera. And so this will allow you to select one of your custom camera views or your scenes from inside of your SketchUp model and then make these same changes over here. Let's say that I had my camera view way out here um, and let's say I wanted to open up like my custom camera one or something like that. So I could be flying around in this model and I could decide I wanna to go to my custom camera one. Well, you can just select this and then go up here and click this button for transfer the specified camera to the viewport and that'll load that view into your viewport. So this really allows you to kind of adjust your camera views. Um, it really gives you a custom option for doing that. So you can also take your camera views and you can adjust things like your uh, your horizon so you can adjust if this is like rotated or something like that kind of similar to what you can do with advanced camera tools inside of SketchUp but you could um, then apply that to your viewport as well so you can also create some custom scenes inside of your SketchUp model if you want to do that by clicking on this plus button the export and render button will set this up where you can actually isolate things using a rendering engine. So you could click on like the building and then isolate that and then render just this building. Um, and then once you're done, you just click the checkbox to move back to your portrait studio. 
Um, really the one that I'm focused on right now is just generating your different image files. Um, there is a future option for generating a face me component, but it's not quite in there yet. And then just like with most of uh, Fredo's extensions, there's an option in here for uh, adjusting the different camera or the different parameters for your different menus and things like that. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, you can see this is just kind of an advanced camera management tool. Um, it allows you to make a lot of different adjustments and do a lot of customizations and things like that. So uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this extension, what you might use it for. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.